Chris Lawrence, come on in here, Mayor. How are Hi, you, hon? Nice great. to see nice you. To you too. Fun to cook with you in the kitchen. Um, this is a cool idea because we know how many of you are interested in pressure cooking, but for some of you, an eight quart pressure cooker, oh my gosh, what am I going to do in there? And there are others of you who say, a four quart pressure cooker, well, I need far more than that. And even more of you who say, I'm kind of loving the idea that I already have a big pressure cooker uh -huh. and I might like to get a small pressure cooker here. So we really have the Goldilocks assortment here. Um, we have the baby bear, we have the mama bear, right. and we have the daddy bear. There's a four quart, a six quart, and an eight quart size for you to choose from. All giving you the same performance, just in different capacities. They're all on easy pay. At this time of year where the weather is crazy, people are running like crazy, you are hungry and you want to eat good food fast, that's really what a pressure cooker is best right. at. Right, I mean, it's funny, I say that in the, in the winter months, but then the summer comes along and I think, I want to get outside, let's cook dinner fast, and I use the pressure cooker as well. Right. So to me, it's a year-round appliance, but really, the main reason that I like pressure cooking is because the food that comes out of it is so yeah. delicious. I have been cooking in a pressure cooker for years. Wow. And I am still amazed every time. And how good the food I'm is. I'm like, wow, that is good. good. I can't believe that came out of a pressure cooker, and yet I'm the one saying, hey, this is what happens. You get great food out of a pressure cooker. Let me break down and, and let you know sure. sort of what we have here. So help me out, Gabe, with the colors. In the forecourt, I have what? I have black and I have the cinnamon, which is what you're seeing here in the forecourt. Black and cinnamon, I have both in the six quart. In the eight quart, I have all three colors. So the eight quart is the only one I have in the white, but I also have the black and the cinnamon for you. I'm gonna head down to Meredith. Talk mm. about the overall idea of pressure cooking. Sure. Like, what does it get me, Meredith? We talk so much about the whole time thing, yeah. but really, what does it get me? Well, so basically what a pressure cooker does is it has a lid that seals on there and traps the steam inside, which then creates pressure and increases the boiling point of the, of the liquid. So okay. you're cooking instead of at 212 degrees at about 250. So degrees. I'm cooking hotter than You're I could ever faster. get on my stovetop. Exactly. It's cooking faster. It's staying sealed. So any of the steam that normally escapes right. when I'm cooking on my stovetop right. is staying within the cooker itself and infusing it with flavor. And what exactly? This flavor has oh nowhere my gosh, to go. Look at that I know, is. seriously. And it's just... I mean, I can just draw, like, pull oh. this apart. It's delicious. So you're cooking in about a third of the time that it would take you to cook in the oven or on the stovetop, and you're concentrating all those flavors. flavors. So the flavors are infusing in here. So when you do a pot roast like this, which might take you, you know, three or four hours in yes. the stovetop, you're doing it in about 55, 60 minutes here in a pressure cooker, and it's delicious. Like, it's so delicious. I, I, I defy, like, I think you should get this home, try pot roast, and say it's not the best pot roast you've ever had. And what liquid do you use with that? Well, do you, you use a beef whatever broth? You Can want. I use I'm wine? actually working on a recipe right now where I'm going to use stout beer on my Ooh. pot roast. But you can use wine, you can use stock, you can use beer, you can, I've done orange juice. I've actually mm. braised short ribs in orange juice. But all of this is so easy to do. So all you need is liquid. Exactly. your food, put it in, and then how easy is the pressure cooker to operate? Well, By the way, Meredith's book, Cooking Under Pressure, um, Comfort Under Pressure, um, yeah. is right here. And if you're interested in that, that is a great companion to any of these because her recipes are fantastic. She's an amazing cook. They're easy, they're flavorful, um, so check that out. But, but talk a little bit about how easy this is to operate. Well, this is one of, this is one of David's favorite recipes from the book, Jill. It's oh. the rigatoni with artichokes, sun-dried tomatoes, and Italian sausage, and this takes seven minutes with dried what? pasta going in here Seven first. minutes? Wait, tell me those fancy ingredients. So it's artichokes, artichokes? Uh, it's sun-dried tomatoes, some Italian sausage, and the pasta all go in here. This is dry quality pasta. food. Dry pasta. Restaurant quality seven food. Seven minutes. So let's take, let's take a look at that control panel because it's really, really so, mm. so very easy. You can see there are some preset buttons here. For those that of you fabulous. who are not sure what you're doing, you put some, you want to make risotto, you put your rice in there, your stock in there, you press risotto. You have all of these uh, preset buttons, or you can just add the time yourself if you want. You just press the time you want, and then you just walk away. It will start automatically. It will know when it comes to pressure. It will then start counting down. This is what it says while it's coming to pressure. Cool. When you start to see time, that means it's counting down. And then when it's done, it goes right into that keep warm setting and holds the food warm for you. So you can even use it as a buffet server. Love that. What about, I saw there was a brown button on there. That, so does that mean I can like brown my pot roast exactly, and then bring it up to pressure? Exactly. Or like you're, what you're eating right now, the Italian sausage, we mm -hmm. brown that first. I, I'm thrilled to see that you're going back for a second and third I'm bites. eating the whole <laughs> thing. I didn't eat dinner because I knew this was going to 
be a good food show. But you see, this is so, so good. easy. And to make a dinner like this, and this is a six quart that I'm pulling this out of. Mm. There is mm -hmm. a lot of this left, and a lot of it has been made. But just to give you a size, an idea of capacity, this is the four quart right here that yes. I'm showing you. We've got a four pound chicken in here. We just put the four pound chicken in. with. Like I think for my mom, you know, she lives by herself. This would be so great for her because you can put that you know, oh, smaller absolutely. chicken in there. Um, have a really delicious meal for a couple of nights. And look at this chicken. This is a four pound chicken in here with a jar of marinara, some peppers and mushrooms. And I mean, we put it in whole. Wow. It's coming it's out in falling pieces apart. because it's so, so very tender. I tried my hand at making homemade chicken stock oh, over yeah. the weekend. Uh -huh. If I had done it in a pressure cooker, yeah, 30 instead minutes. of letting it like yeah. sit on the stovetop for six hours, I could have done it in 30 minutes, and would the flavor have been equal? Absolutely, absolutely. That's the thing about the pressure cooker. The flavor has nowhere to go but back into this pot. So uh. when I do something like this, like ribs, I've got ribs, I've got barbecue sauce in there. I put them together. The barbecue sauce tastes like ribs. The ribs taste like barbecue sauce. Uh. All the flavors blend together. And then look at the tenderness. Look, boom. Wow. Look at that. And remember, this is not something, this is just a plug in uh, kitchen appliance, everybody. This is not something where you're having to bring it up to pressure on your stovetop. The buttons are all there. It's easy to operate. It's already been programmed so you know which buttons to hit for which kinds of things that you're cooking. And then you let the pressure cooker do the rest. We've done five payments of Easy Pay here. So $69 is your price for your four quart, $79 is your price for the six quart, $9. $99 is your price for the eight quart. They're all on easy pay. Seven dollars for your shipping, which for you know a heavy duty appliance like this, I think is fantastic. That's great. And look at the capacity of food. Right. So four racks of ribs came out of there. They look fantastic. A few other things I wanted to mention. Yes. Jill. You know, this is the insert. It's a non-stick insert. It comes right out when you oh, want to do that. any kind of cleaning. This is all you have to clean. Very, very simple. You know, and then once it's clean again, you've got that. It goes right back inside. The lid can come off just by rotating it and then lifting it up off of the little ledge, but it stays on when you want to have it as a, as a handle. Oh, cool. Just like that. Get it? <laughs> uh, remember, the black is the color that you're looking at there. We also have it for you in the cinnamon, and then we also have it for you in the white, but only in the eight quart if you're wanting the white. Can you real quickly also address sure. safety? Oh, because absolutely. Because I think, you know, I mean, I've worked with pressure cookers now on the air at QVC for over 20 years, mm -hmm. and inevitably I'll get off the air after presenting one, and people, the first question they'll post on my Jill Bauer QVC it's Facebook safety. pages, are they really safe? Because I remember my grandmother well, using one, and that chicken exploded all well, over our kitchen. this is not your grandmother's pressure cooker. Right. My mom had a pressure cooker, too, that had a little jiggle valve, and she had to monitor the heat underneath that valve in order to keep it at the right pressure. These ones monitor everything themselves. Yeah. And in fact, there are so many safety precautions here that you, you can't do anything wrong. If you don't put enough liquid in, it turns off. Oh, wow. If the gasket is not making a proper seal, it turns off. And you might be frustrated, but it's saving yes, you, right? right? It turns off. So the gasket is there. If there's any uh, leak with the gasket, the cooker turns off. You've got two safety valves in the lid here. Again, if there's any burning on the bottom, it turns off. Saves your food. Wow. I have had this experience myself. And, and if you have questions about pressure cookers, go to my Blue Jean Chef Facebook page. I have a lot of people there who come to me with their questions. I answer every single thing myself. Yeah. And, uh, and there are lots of people who've been turned on to pressure cooking and big advocates for it now yeah. right on that page. And so. don't forget to get Meredith's um, Comfortable Under Pressure book, which gives you all kinds of wonderful recipes to use along with your pressure cooker. And this is one of them. This is the barbecued pulled chicken. Ooh. You can substitute pork in there if you want to for the pulled pork, but let me tell you, the pulled chicken, Delicious. Delicious. Yes. We're going to head to our phones. Deborah's calling in from Texas. Hi, Deborah. It's Jill and Meredith. How are you tonight? Hi, ladies. I'm Thank great. Thanks for calling in. Yeah. So, are you going to try I, using a I pressure had cooker? I one of these and I dropped it in the floor and broke it. Oh. So, I'm ordering a new one because I love it. I have to be at work at 5 30 in the morning. So, sometimes you forget to take your food out to thaw, mm -hmm. and with this I can just throw it in there and it's done. Oh, you're and absolutely right. Talk about the flavor of the food, Deborah. Oh, it just it absorbs the the everything in the sauce and it just does beans so well. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm dry. really like it. Oh, good. What are some of your favorite things to make in a pressure cooker? I like to make charro beans, mm -hmm. um, short ribs, yeah. uh, pot rolls. 
You just named that I like it. <laughs> well, good. Well, I'm so glad that you, you know, liked using a pressure cooker enough that you came back for another one. So sorry yeah, that the sorry that the so first easy. one met misfortune, but <laughs> glad that we had another one for you. Right. Well, Thank you very much. All righty. You take care. Have a great evening. Uh, you too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Remember, I mean, I don't know that we've ever offered a choice of sizes in a pressure cooker before. So if you felt like eight quart was too big because it's just you on your own, get the four quart. If you're somebody who maybe has seen a six quart and really wished it was bigger, we have the eight quart. Right. And for those of you who are already using a pressure cooker, a lot of people I know were posting on your um, Blue Jean Chef Facebook page that they were interested in a smaller one is almost like to do the side dishes, Well, exactly, because right? you sped up making the main entree when you're using your big cooker and now you want to make rice in just six minutes oh you know I need another pressure cooker yeah. to do that so to have like if you have different size saucepans in the kitchen mm -hmm. you might want to think about having different size pressure cookers in the kitchen too and I think those of you who love your pressure cookers and use them all the time and probably use them more than you ever thought you would once right. you got it at home that idea is really appealing are you not boiling the pasta first no I wanted to show you how easy it can be to use a pressure cooker so dried pasta can go in there and the rule of thumb Jill is that you want the same volume of pasta so cups as you have volume of liquid okay so I'm using a cup of, of tomato juice like from a can yeah. of chopped I'm using two cups there of chicken stock I'm gonna put in the rest of the can of tomatoes right you know, the, the hard uh, the tomatoes themselves yeah and then whatever vegetables you have you have some vegetables go ahead throw some vegetables in you have some Love chicken that. you have some pork Go ahead, throw that in, whatever you have. And the vegetables won't overcook, Meredith? No, I mean, you have to be sensible about what vegetables you put in there. Yeah. If you put, like, spinach in, it's going to be done in a second. Right, 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 but, right. And then you just go for half of the time that it says on the pasta box. Okay. So if it's, like, cavatappi or penne, you're going to be, like, five, six minutes. Five or six minutes <laughs> yeah. to this delicious pasta and vegetable. I mean, think of how quickly you can make soups. You know, before you know it, spring's going to be here. And if you have kids or grandkids, all those sports schedules are going on, right? Then it, it's all these different activities. You want to go out and play golf after work, but mm -hmm. you want to come home and have a quick dinner. How are you going to make it? You're going to make it in your pressure cooker. It won't heat up the house. A lot of you who have RVs, I know, love the idea of a pressure cooker. Chili done in 50 15 minutes, not hours on the stove. Pot roast done in less than an hour when maybe it takes six or eight hours in your slow cooker. Food that is more flavorful. If it's more flavorful, you're not adding as much fat, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, so really, this could be a healthier way for a lot of you to cook, or those of you who hate to cook the vegetables separately and, you know, you just want to cook it all at once, the pressure cooker will allow you to do that quickly and easily. And? You can even do desserts. Oh my gosh, tell me yeah, more. Yeah, I'm going to let you hold okay. on to this. And All you right. can hold that spoon too, and you know what to do okay. with it. Oh yes, I can but try you it. See, here, here's the thing about pressure cooking. What is this, like cooking. a pot of creme This or what? is a pot of creme, yeah, mm. it's a milk chocolate Are you chocolate impressed that I knew that? I'm very yeah, how impressed, about that? actually. I've hung out with you enough now, it, I know. It also <laughs> translates as pudding, mm. right. But um, oh my here's gosh. the thing. Any vessel that you cooker. have that can go into the a oven can go into the pressure cooker. So your temptations that can go into the oven can go into the pressure cooker. Really? Any item that you can put into the oven can go into your pressure cooker. So what that we did good. was took little ramekins, put the pudding inside, wrap them in foil. Stop it. Cooked them in here, all stacked up on each other like and that. And you put like just water at the bottom, a like a water of, bath? Exactly. Can water I do a at cheesecake the bottom? in there? You can absolutely do cheesecakes in there. They're easy, oh my, easy. This is and changing course, my life at this moment. You can do it so, so very <laughs> quickly. Wow. And, and just one other thing, look at this rice, yes. Jill. You can see it's steaming. <gasps> it's beautiful. Beautiful rice. Beautiful yes. rice. And that's done in five minutes. Five minutes to that much rice. Five minutes. You as opposed to like 35 minutes when you do it on your stove top. Exactly. And then could I, instead of water, could I do chicken broth Absolutely. or something like that so it Absolutely. flavors it's it a little more? It's about a one to one and a half ratio of rice to liquid and then it's done, no problem. Love you can it. take this out, take it right to the table, go ahead, you have rice for a crowd. I love it. Uh, over a thousand of you have dialed in for this. It's on a five pay, easy pay plan. Choose your size. Do you want the four quart? The six quart or the eight quart, they're all on five payments of easy pay. I have black and cinnamon in the four quart and the six quart, black, cinnamon, and white in that eight quart size. It's K40319. Don't forget about Meredith's book, too. Comfortable under pressure. That is available as well. You can ask customer service or find it on QVC.com. Thank you.